If you are at all familiar with Linux, then you probably know how to use the mount command for listing out mounted systems. But have you heard about a command named find mount and how it's better than the mount command? In this video, we will be looking at using find mount command to look at mounted file systems. I first heard about the find mount command about five or six years ago when somebody was asking me to test it out for usage in some custom scripts. And since then, find mount keeps popping up as a better alternative to mount. And even the man page for mount tells us to use find mount. So if we look at the section for the dash A or dash all option, we can see that it tells us to use find mount. Let's do a quick review of the mount command. You can use it to mount a file system. And if we just type the mount command by itself, it will list out the current mounted file systems. So we see a ton of stuff returned. And if we want to get a better view, let's do this again and then pipe the output to more so that we only see one page of output at a time. So I'm going to do mount, pipe that through more. Now we can go line by line and see the output of my system here, uh, which is the cane distro. And we see that we have a bunch of system related file systems that the system needs to do its thing. And it's not until the very bottom of the output here that we see the data drives that we uh, either plugged in or was part of the system boot. So mount is fine, but the output is a little unwieldy. And now let's take a look at using the find mount command. The basic command is just like mount. So we just type find mount. So what we see here in the bottom window is that the main difference is that the find mount command has a hierarchical tree output by default. This helped group the file systems into things related to the slash sys and slash proc and slash dev and slash run, etc. Until we get to the bottom and we see our mounts of our uh, data drives in slash mount. And if you don't like the tree view and just want a regular listing, you can use the dash L option. So I'm going to do find mount dash L. And so now this looks more like the output of mount, except the output is put into columns to make it a little easier to read. Now that we looked at the basic usage of the command, let's see how we can use the filtering options with find mount. With the mount command to see only devices mounted read only, what we have to do is do a mount and then pipe that output through grep and grep for RO for read only. But this gives us way more data um, because of all these words here that contain the word RO. Uh, so I'll have to further filter and assume that RO will be the first option, right? If I do the mount, pipe it through grep dash E and then uh, double quotes, open parentheses, RO, end quote. So this now gives us the output that we desire, which is only the file systems mounted read only. But this is actually much simpler if we use the find mount command. We can just use the dash O option to specify options in a comma separate list. So for instance, I can just do find mount dash capital O of RO. And you can see that this only gives us the read only file systems. Let's take a look at another example. To see only mounted devices with the ext4 file system, I can use the mount command and then grep for ext4. That's the way that we've done it with the mount command. But with find mount, we can also use the dash t for file system type. Right, so we can do find mount dash T of ext4. And so this spits out all of the ext4 file systems. And we can specify more than one type by using a comma separated list. So we can do find mount dash T, ext3, comma, ext4, comma, vfat. And here we see all of the mount of file systems, which are of those types. We can also search only for the source by using the dash capital S option. So if we do find mount dash capital S of slash dev slash SDC4, it's really only going to list out uh, the SDC4 as the source. 
Conversely, we can use the dash capital T option to search only the target. So in this case, we can do find mount dash capital T of slash MNTP4, and that would come up with the same result. And similarly, we can search only for the mount point by using the dash capital M option. So I'm going to do find mount dash capital M of slash MNT slash P4. And we see the same result. So here's an instance where mount may be better than find mount. Um, for example, if I'm interested only in devices like SDA and SDB, you can't really specify any wildcards in the find mount command. And the um, source and target options, right, the dash capital S and dash capital T options must be a valid uh, argument and no wildcards are allowed. Um, but on the mount command, we can just do mount and then pipe that through grep and then let's say SDC and we can see a whole bunch of stuff. And we can do the same thing with find mount, pipe that through grep SDC. And lastly, if I'm only interested in file systems that are manually mounted in slash MNT, you cannot just specify slash MNT or use any other wildcards. You have to specify a valid path. So you have to know that it's slash MNT slash P4. Otherwise, you can just use the old mount command and just pipe that through grep and grep grepping for the MNT folder. Or similarly, with find mount, you can also pipe that output to grep MNT. All right, now let's take a look at where the find mount command actually looks for its information. By default, find mount searches three locations, the Etsy FS tab file, the Etsy M tab file, and then lastly in slash proc slash self slash mount info. And the file slash se slash FS tab are basically the mounts that the system will perform upon boot. All right, so if we take a look at the file, we're gonna do a more of slash se slash FS tab. These are all of the file systems that the system will try to mount when it boots up. And if we look at the second source here of slash etsy slash mtab, these are all the mounts that are currently active. Right, so this mtab file was created uh, as file systems are mounted or unmounted. And then lastly, let's take a look at the proc self mount info file. These are all the mounts in the kernel, which is essentially the ultimate authority of what is mounted and not mounted. And you can limit the searches to just one of those locations by specifying dash s or dash dash fs tab for just looking in the fs tab file. You can specify dash m or dash dash m tab to look at just the m tab file. And lastly, dash k or dash dash kernel to look at just what's in the kernel. So here I'm gonna use uh, find mount dash s. You can see that it gives results by just looking at the fs tab file. Uh, but I can use the uh, searches in conjunction with other things like a dash t. So I'm gonna do find mount dash s dash t of ext4. Right, so this is going to look in just the fs tab file for all of the mounted disks which are ext4. And similarly, I can do find mount dash m dash t ext4. That only looks at the mtab file. And then lastly, find mount dash k dash t dot ext4. Now this is only going to look in the kernel for any ext4 file systems mounted. So here is where uh, find mount actually shines uh, over mount because you can actually customize the output by specifying what columns. So if you want to have specific columns in the output, you can use the dash O to specify the desired columns. And if you want a full list of what's possible, you can just type find mount dash dash help. Right, so you can see here that it lists out all of the possible uh, column headers that you can use. And so, for example, if we're only interested in the file system label and the partition label, and then uh, for each of the mounted file systems, we can just use those upward columns. So I'm gonna do find mount dash O of source, comma FS type, comma label, comma part label, comma target. 
And so once I hit return, so once I see the output, you can see that it is only using those five uh, output columns that I specified. And then the output is sorted by the target. So we still get the tree view, which is... Wow, wow, is very nice. And another feature of FindMount is that it has the disk space usage feature built in. So up in the top window here, I'm just going to do the df-h, right, for disk space free using the human readable form. And you see all of the mounted file systems and how much capacity each one has and how much is used. And on the bottom window here, I'm going to type find mount dash dash df, and it's going to give me a similar output. And the beauty of using find mount is that we can compound the options and use the filter on this. So we can narrow down our search to only look at file systems that we care about. For example, if we only care about the um, uh, ISO 9660 and VFAT, I can do find mount dash dash df and then dash T to specify the um, file system type, ISO 9660, comma VFAT. And now we only get disk usage for file systems that are of those two specified types. And if you're using find mount in a script and actually want to get rid of the header, you can use the dash N option for no heading. So I can just up arrow and add dash N and now I want to hit return, the output comes back and it does not have the header columns because in a script, we already know what the columns are. We, we actually don't need that. And another wacky option you can use is the inverse. So to get the inverse of a selection criteria, you can use the dash I option. So for example, if we only want to look at read only uh, file systems, we can do find mount dash capital O R O. This will give us all of the read only. And then if I up arrow and do a dash I for inverse, now I hit return. It is only going to give me everything that does not have RO or read only. Only going to give me the read write file systems. All right. If you're making edits in your Etsy FS tab file, it is a good practice to make sure that the FS tab file is valid before you reboot your system, right? Otherwise, if you have a typo or something is wrong there, you may not be able to reboot your system ever. So one of the common ways to do this is to use the dash A option to the mount command, which will then mount all the not yet mounted file system in the FS tab, and then it will tell you if something is not right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, edit the FS tab file using a sudo and then VI. And essentially, I'm going to get rid of most of the lines here, um, except for the last one. I'm going to change it around to specify devices that don't exist. So SDX. And then I'm going to give it a file system that is just gibberish. So I'm going to do uh, SGI FS. And then lastly, I'm going to get rid of some of the uh, options here. I'm going to change the read only to just some gibberish XXX. And then I'm also going to get rid of the, like the last two uh, columns here of the output to see what kind of uh, errors I get. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and write and quit that file. And then on the top, I'm going to use mount a dash dash verbose. And it's going to come back and tell us that, hey, these are all of the um, lines are in the FS tab file. And there seems to be no error. It just comes back and tells me everything is ignored because it looks like it's already mounted. However, in the man page, uh, if we look at the man page, it actually explicitly says that it is a bad practice to use mount dash A for checking the FS tab file. And the man page recommends that we use find mount with the verify option. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do on the bottom window here find mount dash dash verify dash dash verbose. So what this is going to do is that find mount is going to verify the FS tab file and gives us much more feedback with the verbose option here. And so if we can see the last block here for the last line that I edited, it warns us that the target file does not exist, which is true. 
and then it warns that the source is unreachable, which is also true, right? Because I don't have any SDX in the system. And then it is also warning me that the specified file system of uh, SGI FS is not supported in the current kernel because I literally just made that up. So, you know, you can see here that the find mount command is a little bit better in terms of uh, checking your FS tab file. Uh, to make sure there are no issues before you reboot and lock up your system for good. So the command find mount is a cleaner way of getting output for mounted file systems. Not only is it actually recommended by the man page for mount itself, but after exploring the command, I was sold on the simplicity of the command, and I like the fact that I can customize the output. For more information about the mount command, make sure you watch this video here. Make sure you click on the blue monkey to subscribe. Thanks for your time and happy hunting.